Manny Gomes here and in this video we're going to explain the proper way to document a gift. Gifts can only be given by either family member or close family or personal friend. Now if you are receiving a gift from a friend, please do give me a call for there's a proper way we need to document the relationship. But as you can see here, there's a little, you know, cash, a stack of cash tied with a little bow. It looks cute, but not acceptable. Cash cannot be used as a, a gift. We must demonstrate ownership to the donor. A gift letter will also have to be filled out and signed. A gift letter will be provided to you by us. All you have to do is fill in the blanks and sign it. It's pretty simple. Now going back to demonstrating ownership of the funds to the donor, there's two ways to actually actually accomplish this. One, they give you a check. You deposit the check into your account. Once the, the, the check clears your account, they'll be able to access their clear check the clear check just like this either through their online banking or by um, requesting it from a retail branch second way if you receive a check via a wire um, directly into your account we will need to uh, a transaction history showing the name of the donor along with um, documentation that the funds have in fact drafted their account along with the new resulting balance so if it's a ten thousand dollar gift that you're receiving for example we will need to see the $10,000 drafting out of their account and the resulting balance once that $10,000 gift is drafted. We also have to document that that gift has entered your account. So here's a, an example of a transaction history or a bank statement. The, the name of the bank will be there, the account number, the statement range. Uh, doesn't have to be this detailed. If we have one of your previous statements already, a simple transaction history will suffice. Uh, please be sure that the transaction history, the date range, covers the date of your last statement to the date the gift has cleared your account or, or or has entered in your account. Very, very, very important. We have to document the credit going into your account and the resulting balance. This example, for some reason, does not show the balance, but let's say you know your balance previous to the gift was 2,000. We will have to see the new $12,000 balance. So that's pretty much how you um, document a paper trail. I hope this video was helpful. If you do have any questions, please either contact myself or my team. Thank you very much.